If you found this video, I assume you're either a farmer or someone who's extremely interested in gardening, and you know that farming is hard. At Terramore Farm, the one thing that has improved our lives, our farm, and our quality of product is adding automation. If I could go back in time and tell myself years ago to add it sooner, that would be the number one piece of advice I would give young me. Throughout this video, I'm gonna demonstrate exactly how our system works in both of our greenhouses, as well as to irrigate our fields and our greenhouses. And we're gonna show you exactly how that improves our lives and makes us more money. While this video is sponsored and brought to you by Orisha Automation, I do want all viewers to know that it was I who contacted them. I absolutely love using Orisha. It has changed my life and our farm. And I really believe that more people should explore how automation could help them no matter the scale of their farming operation. So the first thing to consider with automation is the fact that the quality is unattainable without automation. So what I mean there is no matter if your full-time job was exclusively just monitoring your roll-up sides manually on your greenhouse, you would never still achieve the level of quality as automation. So that's number one. It's unachievable without getting a system in place. So that brings me to our nursery where we have it completely set up so that the heat and humidity are at ideal settings and they communicate with the automatic roll-up sides and our furnace. This is the same for both greenhouses, but in the nursery, it allows for plant quality to be completely ideal. So since we transplant over 80% of everything we grow, we've literally seen all of our field crops improve drastically. We've also, since we've seen our transplant quality increase, gained the confidence to be able to offer a spring plant sale, which in year one grossed over $10,000 and is growing every year as more people become aware of this amazing opportunity to buy local organic transplants for their garden. <laughs> So as I've mentioned, it improves transplant quality through controlling the environment. This also controls, through the sensor, humidity. So we're seeing less damping off, the humidity levels are balanced, and then the average daytime and nighttime temperatures are also ideal. Adding automation to the nursery doesn't just improve all of our plants across the fields, it also provides us with peace of mind. So if you've ever lost a crop of tomatoes in your nursery in the winter months when you're just getting started, you know the fear that <laughs> resides deep inside when you're going to sleep at night. And Orisha provides alarms that anything below or above your ideal settings, or if they're lost, they've lost communication or anything like that, you're getting a phone call in the night. I'm standing here in the greenhouse now, looking at our tomato plants and how automation improves quality of produce in the greenhouse is by again, controlling the environment perfectly. But something that you can't do manually is get that ideal environment. So the sensors in here communicate to the main system of Orisha exactly what we've programmed for the hu ideal humidity we want and the ideal temperatures. We also have on the back end of Orisha a system programmed in, not by us, but by Orisha itself, that allows the greenhouse to warm slowly in the morning when the sun is coming up and the tomato plants are waking up. So these are things that are programmed in the back end because the staff at Orisha work directly with farmers to communicate and learn the best of the business. These tomatoes are spoiled. They're getting exactly what they need. The roll-up sides are communicating with our furnace and all of the sensors are communicating to ensure this ideal environment is maintained. So since adding automation, we've seen a massive increase in our product quality and our plant vigor, and we've seen our issues with disease go way down as a result of controlling that humidity. Another element that adding automation has provided us with is being able to grow crops that are more difficult. For example, cucumbers. So we've, they're not here right now, but these used to be gigantic cucumber crops. And we're also considering putting misters 
on timers as well with the automation so that this will mitigate pests as well, such as spider mites that th love to thrive in a dry environment. So because Orisha is on an app, you can use it on your cell phone and also on your desktop. I'm gonna do a screen share later in this video to show you how easy the app is to use. And then I also have our crew logged on as well. So we're gonna to speak to Cal later on to discuss She Runs Irrigation. And she's gonna have a lot to say about how Orisha has drastically improved her day-to-day -day life on the farm as well. This is the app. It's a phenomenal, functional app. This looks the exact same on the cell phone. So as you see here, this is our field irrigation. So I can literally click this on or off right now, but it's already in the settings. So we can go to the control panel. My internet's slow right now. Um, greenhouse, so here's greenhouse one. So right now I can see where the automate or automated roll, roll up sides are at, the temperature here, the humidity, so it's a little bit too dry. So I'm sure one of those is actually gonna be going down shortly there. Some things are uncontrollable as well though. Here we go, this is greenhouse two, a little more bit going on here because you've got the four automatic valves, two for greenhouse one and two for greenhouse two. And again, we can see that there is some automation happening there. Uh, you can even go to the history here, see what's happening, look at what's been going on. We had an issue with one of the roll up sides that I had to adjust, so my furnace was going all night. You can see that there and that's really nice. And then some dehumidification cycles. The furnace was just kicking on a little bit here. And yeah, really, really easy to use. As you can see, navigate around. If you see any discrepancies, you can call and get help or check and troubleshoot online. And overall, this app is extremely easy. As I mentioned, our crew is also logged in so they can monitor things and control things as well. So if you wanna see sort of how Cal would go through here, she would go to the control panel she would set the manual so it's a sunny day here and then she would know that the irrigations are going to be she has them set up to be at 10 noon and 2 or something like that so depending on the day and then she'll have her timer set run around before 10 to set up what she wants in the field to be done that day etc so really easy really nice and absolutely love using this app so this here is the Orisha control box. We have one in each greenhouse and that is sort of the main way that Orisha communicates with its sensors. Our furnace, automatic roll-up sides, automatic valves for irrigation are all in here for this greenhouse. If you look over to this side, we have two 1,000 liter tanks. So this is how we're currently automating irrigation in both of our greenhouses. And we have four valves, so two sections in each greenhouse and they're automated to irrigate depending on the cloud cover that day Cal or myself log into the Orisha app and say what the manual like manually input what the cloud cover that day is and we have it pre-programmed how many irrigations and how long to make them and then what happened with this system is we ran into a little bit of human error because our main pump switch was still on manual so that opened up an opportunity for human error and there was instances where we were forgetting to turn on the main pump these would run dry and it would cause issue issues with the pump so since then we've actually put our main pump switch on automation as well so now our full irrigation system is automated and they're set up to be on the same sort of schedule based on cloud cover for the given day Because we have over 21 plots that require to be turned on and off for the irrigation to function properly, we've actually broken it up into sections with main valves on our lay flat main hose. And then that makes it a lot easier. So with four different sections, we can monitor much eas more easily which areas we're irrigating. And since Cal is the irrigation manager, she has timers set throughout the day based on the cloud cover for what time to go when and turn on and off certain main valves to ensure the sections that we want are getting irrigated when we want them to. So now let's ask Cal, the irrigation manager, how Orisha and to what extent Orisha has improved her day to day on the farm. Cal, are you ready for a chat? Are you serious? Do, 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 do. Cal's over at the basil. This is how far away Cal was. 
There's Bryn, the gal behind the camera. <laughs> All right, what do you got for us? How did Orisha improve your life on the farm? Oh my God, it actually was such a game changer for me. <laughs> no, it was huge. I was spending like an obscene amount of time every day going to the greenhouses minimum twice a day every 15 minutes to manually irrigate them we have them separated um, into two sections each greenhouse like one and two west and east um, so i was manually doing every part of it twice a day also the main pump was an amazing thing to get automated because when i would go home at the end of the night i wasn't worried if i had left it on maybe after that last irrigation yeah. so it's really easy to just go home and check from my phone and be like no you did your job <laughs> <laughs> so that was actually something that helped me sleep better at night the automation is huge because then i'm i'm not walking around doing all that stuff manually i'm actually in the field putting my attention into things that need my attention you know yes. that's stuff that can do its own so for me the biggest thing to figure out is what do I want to water that day not like okay how am I going to time it so that it's convenient for me to stop my task run to the greenhouse manually open something and then go back and go okay pick up where I left off doing that every like I was saying like that multiple interruptions was huge so to build off what Cal said it actually ties into if you haven't added if you haven't grill problems <laughs> I feel bad for you, son. We got 99 problems, but irrigation ain't one. To add to what Cal's saying, if you haven't added automation to your roll-up sides, it's mm. the exact same idea, which is the amount of time that it takes to stop what you're doing, go and either roll up the sides, mm -hmm. or in your case, you were experiencing, like that was me You're in the early days before we did the roll-up sides. We did automated roll-up sides before we did automated oh. irrigation. But I was experiencing the exact same thing. And you know also the addition of like walking anywhere on your farm, mm -hmm. whether you're the owner, the manager, or just a staff, you're gonna run into X amount of problems along the way that can be a distraction, or you even just lose your train of thought as, what, as to what you were doing. And limiting these distractions mm -hmm. throughout the day like not only improves your to-do list, mm -hmm. but like the, and, and the amount you get done, but I feel like you just feel better at the end of the day. Like yeah. not having as many interruptions, you get to really dive into the work that you're doing yeah. and, and feel more accomplished at the end of the day. You're not mentally tired either. Cause like I said, it is a little bit of gymnastics. I'm intentionally going for a walk to look at the irrigation and yes. it's not like something that I have to try and fold into doing other stuff. And limiting, like you said, the mm -hmm. mental load. Like just, yeah. just anytime you're limiting your mental load throughout mm -hmm. the day is good as well. Yeah. All right. The other benefit of the roll-up side system is that they're much easier to put on than you'd think. Again, with the intimidation factor, I hate to inform and divulge the truth that the first year we ha had them, the first year we purchased them, these sat in the barn for a couple months before I even got around because I was just procrastinating thinking it was going to be like a week-long project setting this up and it took me a morning so the guys at Arisha really get a kick out of this that it just sat there but it was just me being intimidated by the project thinking it was much larger than it was so literally these roll-up sides only take a couple hours and yeah to replace manual so not a big deal really easy to do so as cal touched on the benefits are not just to product quality or overall sales but also quality of life when you're reducing the mental load associated with the farm the day-to-day -day operations of it you improve your quality of li life and it goes so far as like even dana and i if we want to go away on a sunday like we used to have to be deciding before we left to go to town were we going to roll the sides all the way up were we going to leave them down because it was cold that day and these are things that we no longer have to think about i don't have to train a staff or tell people like this is a good time to roll up sides this is a bad time to roll up sides oh my gosh you should have done this you should have done that the mental load of wondering whether or not it's time to roll them up roll them down or whether we can leave and not have to worry about it all of that is gone I think automation can be really intimidating for some people. You think that it's only for the large commercial farms or you're not there yet, but really it's extremely worth taking a look at least to see if it's gonna suit your farm. At least start with roll up sides and you don't necessarily have to take the jump into a furnace. That's the one benefit of Orisha is that some controllers you're paying a massive price up front, like five grand for the controller to be able to use a furnace or roll up sides, etc irrigation and you don't want all that money tied up in that piece of equipment without doing 
everything that it can do. Orisha allows you to unlock these features one at a time. So we started with roll up sides, then we added the furnace. Now we're adding irrigation. So you don't feel that guilt of having money tied up in this piece of infrastructure you actually just get to enjoy it in pieces as you go along. So I hope this video helps you gain the confidence to explore whether automation might be for you. I really think a lot of people will benefit from adding it to their farms. Thank you so much to Orisha for sponsoring this video. Like I said, I really truly love their product. Their customer service is unmatched. They're gonna help you set up your system and they're always on speed dial and they also have tons of troubleshooting stuff online. Like that is one huge benefit to working with a company like Orisha. You're not buying a controller from some third party. You're buying it from the people, directly from the people that are gonna help you set it up. And they have tons of resources through speaking to other farmers and they're very connected to the industry. So you are getting not just a system, but a service as well. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for checking it out. If you found it helpful, please subscribe to the channel, uh, like and share, all that good stuff. I'm Luke Shelzer from Terramore Farm. Check out the channel, we got more coming. Thank you.